G'day everybody. This is going to be the last video from me on the Royal Oscillator and flybacks for a while. I've been spending a lot of time on this thing, uh, way too much time, not getting other things done. Um, anyway, I've, I've, I've sort of banged together a new power supply here. Um, panel meter, uh, transformer out of an uh, audio amplifier. It's got multiple taps for different voltages, goes from... Uh, I think you can get as low as 1 and 2 volts up here and then if you start uh, joining these, uh, what would you call it, the windings together, you start multiplying voltage. You get about 114 volts there, I think it is. Um, I put a heat sink on the bridge rectifier. It just happens to be a heat sink from a uh, G4 Macintosh, a dual G4 I think it was. Um, and as you can see there, the CPU die, uh, the heat sink perfectly fits that uh, that bridge rectifier, so it's like it was meant to be. Um, thank you for BJ95 for telling me that I don't need a freaking shunt for that meter. Thank you, JCAR, for fucking me around there. Um, I wondered why it never worked properly, but and now I know because it doesn't need a shunt. Um, JCAR told me that it needed a shunt and proceeded to show, sell me a shunt. So the salesman obviously didn't know what he was doing. Um, bit of cooling for the transistors. Um, the cooling fans run by that uh, lighting transformer, bridge rectifier shoved straight in there. Doesn't use any power, so there's no need for a buffer cap or a, whatever you call them, a reservoir cap. Um, so yeah, first I'm going to start this up on 12 volts. I will verify it's actually 12 volts. Um, we'll see the size of the arcs, the difference. Right. That's 12 volts, approx 2.5 amp. That's about all that wall watt will give. It's only a 1 amp, so it won't give any more than that. So, uh, next we'll try a bit more voltage. Switch that off there. Unplug that uh, wall watt. And I'll uh, grab my first two windings there like that. See I've grabbed the first two windings and uh, this is the cord of course for the for the uh, power, or well, you call it a power supply. Right. right. That fan is blowing the arc around. Maybe I'll move it. No, maybe I won't. Anyway, that's the arc now. What's that? Nearly 3 amps. 20.3 volts. Now, I'm sure what's going to happen now is, is if I go too high in voltage, it's just going to bloody, it's going to pop. And something's going to, something's not going to be happy. Um, I tried on 40 volts earlier, and I got a bit of output and then it just died. So I don't know if a transistor died or what. Well, I'm pretty sure they did. There's the two there. Both of them got fried. Flyback is still blowing smoke, but it hasn't died yet. Drawing nearly 4 amp there. 243 volts. 0.04 amp primary. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, sorry about that. That was Paul ringing up. He wanted the torque specs for the uh, head on the Daihatsu. I know that. <laughs> anyway, I know what's going to happen when I do this, so consider this like a a, a good send-off, and it's going to cost me 10 bucks. So, uh, oh, we're drawing 4 amp now. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, it's on uh, 19 volts now. Oh, that just got real angry. There we go. That's the Royal Oscillator running on a very high voltage. Oh. Something's just freaking shorted big time. wonder if it's transistor again. Yep, I think transistors are gone again. Because, uh... Hmm... I hope those arcs. I hope. I hope you could see those arcs for a second. Then on the, on the, uh, on the camera because they were awesome. They were huge. Yeah, I think I just. I think I. I think I just finished off the flyback. I'm not sure. 
but I think I just finished off the flyback. Just pause this for a second, I'll check the transistors. But yeah, that was running on 60 volts for a second then. That's awesome. Alright, just pause this for a sec. Yep, just did a quick cont continuity test and both those transistors are now dead, dead short, the whole lot. Fucked. Over. But i seen the biggest arcs I have ever seen out of a flyback just before. I really hope they got caught on camera. That was awesome. Really awesome. So my new power supply rocks, man. It will supply 15 amps at about 48 volts all day long. I think it's more than 48, actually. Um, just put that back on there. I want to see what, what actually uh, we were running it at then. Yeah, that was on 58.2 volts. And uh, those transistors did fire a few times before they died. Um, didn't get hot at all. I think I just overvolted the crap out of them. Something was very unhappy when that happened. Anyway, that's it. The Royal Oscillator is, Royal Oscillator is dead. 20 bucks worth of transistors later. I did manage to get arcs at 60 volts. I'm really freaking happy with my new power supply. It's doing the trick. Nothing gets hot. Just need to finish off and you know heat shrink all that up so it's a bit safer. Apart from that, very good. Once again, thanks to BJ. I think it's BJ95, I can't remember. But uh, thanks for getting my meter working.